Oh, it's like an absolutely gorgeous day to go cruising. We're gonna pull anchor. Look how calm it is. You can see our anchor chain somewhere in the water. Uh, and Carter's pulling the anchor. Look at how glassy that water is. We're gonna go in the Exuma Sound again today and make our way up a little bit north, slowly making our way north to Nassau. But we're gonna first stop and see a couple cool things along the way again. Fire engines before you, you know, oh, yeah, pull good a little call. bit in it. Pull the slack. I can't pull anything. Is it not working? Yep. Not working again. Eating the chain. Yep. It was a very nice cruise on the ocean. It wasn't bad. But the clouds created a little bit of chop. So we're back on the ocean side. I'm sorry. We're back on the bank side. And it was dead calm this morning. But it's got just a little windy chop. Chase is cold. Uh, we think we caught one fish. It took my line, took my lure, everything, and no other fish other than that. Uh, we're anchored out over here by Oven Rock. I have to show you. It's so pretty. We're going to get to go hike into a really cool cave. So there's Oven Rock. And we're going to go hike, hiking up the cave after lunch. We found the trail. My goodness. Oh well. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see why we need a light. It's pretty dark. Oh Chris, grab the light out of that bag too while you're there. Whoa. Hi Dad. What Chase? Are there still like tights? On the ceiling and in like still having mites on the floor. That's awesome. The ones on the ceiling are easy to uh, find because they look pointy, but the ones on the Hold floor the aren't pointy. Man, it's dark. Oh yeah, it's dark. Hey, do you um see any bats? No. There's That's bats in here too. I don't. You do? You see a bat? Girl, they suck your blood. <laughs> Dad's going in. You want to take your shoes off? Is it cold? Oh, it's rocky. You brought, that's not a dive light, so it can't come in the water. Yeah, it's, it is water. well, yeah, but it can't go in the water. It's cold. I think this is fresh water. Yeah, let me taste it. Don't drink it. Is it salty or not? Oh yeah, it totally drops off over here. It's pretty deep. Yesterday we did the coolest cave on Great Guana and today we are over by Compass Key and the Rocky Dundas. 
and we're gonna do another awesome cave today. And our windlass is working a little bit again. On and off, it's on and off. But the, uh, look at the gorgeous colors of the water. I really like cannot even capture how pretty those colors are. The Rocky Dundas are two small rocky islands on the southern end of the Exuma Land and Sea Park. Similar to Thunderball Grotto, you swim in an opening and enter a large cave. The difference being that there's dry land to walk all around, which also makes entering and exiting a little bit tricky in rough conditions. The coral outside of the caves were amazing and the boys had such a great time swimming. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right across from Rocky Dundas is a private island called Foul Key and we're not going to go ashore, but there's a plane just sitting on the beach. Just sitting there. Based on the bend on those propellers, I don't think it's sitting. I think it's more crashed. And it crashed right on the beach. Across the channel from the Rocky Dundas and Fowl Key is Compass Key. On the northern side, you'll find a small creek to wade through, walk through, swim through, or paddle through, all the way to Rachel's Bath. At high tide, or when the ocean is raging, this swimming hole has water pouring in, causing bubbles and making it appear that you're in a bubble bath. The windlass is working on and off a little bit again. That's awesome. We just finished Rachel's bath over there and across the harbor is Rocky Dundas. And now we are moving because this anchorage is starting to get kind of swelly. Whew. 
Today has just been like non-stop exploring, moving, fun. So now we're anchored out and here's an old abandoned DECA station. I didn't even know that was there until we looked on Navionics, saw on our charts. It looked like a good anchorage, not swelly, protected. We saw some massive mega yachts while we were here. Um, that one out there, that's Jerry Jones, that one over the Cowboys. I doubt he's on it. I'm sure he's chartering it out, but if I see him, I'll let you know. And we're going to explore the DECA Center, too. The boys are rinsing off their swimsuits from earlier. Back in the dinghy. We're going to go check out uh, one of the old, they call it a DECA station. It was Hold on. Friar. Hold on. You have some black on you. Sorry. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay, uh, sorry. You should totally leave that in there, too. <laughs> so, uh, the DECA station was prior to um, GPS. They have a radio station here. They had one in Eleuthera, and they had another station in Andros. And between those signals that it put out, a ship could receive those and triangulate their position. And it was used all over the world. It was actually invented for D-Day for the uh, invasion of Normandy. And it was turned on the day before that. The Germans didn't know about it, so they couldn't jam it. And then after that, it worked so well, it went throughout the world by the British Navy. Um, a couple things happened over the course of the life of the technology and the company, but basically what happened is in the year 2000, GPS became available to the public. It wasn't just military. You can't compete with GPS, so it's just too easy. Well, we're going to go check out this old uh, station, see what it looks like still. Falcon. Not happy we're here. Is that a vulture? <laughs> he just pooped. Okay. <laughs> he's got a nest going somewhere. Oh yeah, he's not happy we're here. There's not much current information available on the recent development here on Pipes Key. Okay, these were delivered just like five days ago. And someone's building something. That's odd. Dad, I'm going to need your help. Dad. Dad, I need you. Is it inside the pen? Does he have food? Yeah, they have food each other. Yeah. <laughs> the boots are hardy. They're eating all the bushes. Hey, guys. Hey, don't, don't mess them with the stick, okay? Where are they? One, two, three, four. Ten. Hey, guys. I think I saw a fish. Oh. This is new concrete right here. No. No, 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 the entryway. Yeah, no. Maybe. Door. We've been doing an Avengers marathon, watching them in chronological order. And as we're hiking and walking, we're quoting one-liners and seeing if people can guess what movie it's from. So write down your favorite Avengers quote, and we'll see if we can guess what it's from. Uh, write it in the comments below, and then see if you can guess some of the ones that we're saying, too. Marvel, not Avengers. Marvel! Not Avengers. Marvel. But Avengers is a Marvel. I'm, I'm going to die surrounded by the biggest idiots in the galaxy. To drink, not tea. But I'm cold. I know. You know how I know? Because we're connected. I am groomed. That was mine. I am groomed. Mm -hmm. I am groomed. Mm -hmm. I am groomed. No, that the button. I'll kill everyone. Try again. I am Groot. Mm hmm. I am Groot. Mm hmm. I am Groot. No! How? You. That's the same thing you said last 
time. How is that even possible? Does anyone have any tape? Yeah, scotch tape will work. <laughs> I don't have any scotch tape. Why you say, why then why would you say that? <laughs> we waited two days for Stark to kill us. Nothing happened. Uh, did you know there's one thing in the world that I'm allergic to? That is strawberries. Yeah, I know. I knew you were in strawberries. Then it will be better than that plan. That's my secret. I'm always angry. Oh, I got one. We had a fight. Yeah, who won? I did, clearly. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Loki, you're starting to become predictable. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this on right over there. <laughs> get help! Get help! Help him! Oh. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, share it with all your friends, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next Friday, but until then, remember, enjoy the journey. Bye! Yeah, but if you put your hammer in an elevator, the elevator shows up. Elevator not working.